because it doesn't feel right and at this point I've like managed to get my fingers under there I'm like am I going to lift up the rest of this and I'm going to be bald underneath because I was essentially bald here like it looked like peach fuzz I was giving very much newborn baby honestly newborn baby was giving more hair than I had on my uh, um she was like I'm not going to charge you I'm willing to look at it it was like it started giving me I'm doing you a favor so I'll fit you in will say to hair stylists because I definitely share my feelings on this channel about stylists in general but I say just normalize open conversations with your clients when someone says like something is tight or water is too hot you know don't be irritated or don't come off as unapproachable that someone doesn't feel comfortable to directly say that to you what's popping to my garden coils crew you guys can already tell by the title and the thumbnail that this video is honestly just some tea there's no way to put it this is tea okay um this horror story is one of those things that when i think about it i get just as mad or even more mad than how i felt the day that it actually happened when i say more mad i know i'm not the only one it's like sometimes you go through like a crazy situation where like emotions are kind of high and you might be into it with someone and then you start thinking about everything that you should have said into every i can't even talk that's how flustered i am i'll get into everything in a second okay so for those that do not know i am from jersey i'm from new jersey and for undergrad i went to an hbcu in orangeburg south carolina and the only reason that i'm really emphasizing this right now is for my people that went to school out of state or even if it doesn't involve like college for you and you just had like a move that is outside of your hometown and home state you know that it's a major adjustment for obvious reasons so i'm referring to the like getting your eyebrows done nails who's going to do my hair i only go to one hair person at home and now i have to find a new person or i have to bounce between people until i find that person that was one of the things that i had to go through which is not foreign to any other college student right you want to feel all dolled up in that kind of thing and I was dealing with a situation where like my hair was pulled out yes my hair was pulled out so to get to the actual story itself I finally found someone to do my hair and I was feeling pretty exclusive at this point like this person formerly had a website was using style seat to book appointments wasn't available all of the time so that was really hyping up my head to think oh I'm dealing with something someone super exclusive and then this individual was also a licensed cosmetologist those simple things just add faith that this is not gonna be any nonsense like I'm not going to regret this decision right here to be honest so I'm not unique in that situation so this was honestly my first time getting my hair done in South Carolina since I started going to the school and I decided that I wanted to get a full sew-in because it was your girl's birthday and that just makes this story even crazier because not only did I have just a tragic situation in which what a stylist did caused my hair to literally be in shambles but also because it was around like a major life event I don't care a birthday is a major life event so I go um, to the appointment this is one of the stylists come wash blow dry that's a whole nother story don't even let me get into that i'm surprised she didn't ask me to braid my hair up my damn self as well but i came washed and blow dried and she proceeded to do my hair and i came to the appointment and she felt like my hair wasn't blow dried enough so this was the first thing that kind of irritated me a bit my hair was already fully dried it's just that it wasn't a bone straight blow dry and she got her handheld blow dryer that actually had the comb attachment to it and she began to blow dry my hair if you're familiar with like just heat from a blow dryer touching your scalp when your scalp 
scalp is already dry, it actually causes a burning sensation because there is no water to turn like the heat into steam that doesn't make you feel like someone's burning your scalp off. So I kind of went through that blow drying process and I'm not gonna fraud, no I didn't say anything. I went through the blow drying process again and I was irritated by it but I just went through the process. I'm like okay whatever it is what it is. And she starts doing my hair. So she's braiding down my hair, laying the foundation for the sewing, and it's tight. So I try to insert a joke as an indicator, and I'm wrong here because I should have been assertive in just saying what it was. And I was like, ooh, that's tight. And then she joked it off as well and said something to the effect of like, oh yeah, girl, I'm a little heavy handed, but I need to make sure that like, you know, braids don't slip that kind of thing and i'll just take a break here to just mention in general outside of this one horror story that i'm detailing in general for some reason in hair salon environments there is just this level of uncomfortability with customers and their stylists for customers to like say you know if you were getting your hair washed to just outwardly say like oh the water is too hot or the blow dryer like it's burning my scalp or you're parting my hair too hard for some reason it's like we just need to normalize open communication and also stylists not feeling a way about someone speaking up about the level of discomfort that they're experiencing everyone's different and everyone has a different pain tolerance so she's she goes through the braiding i'm like my body language I would say is showing that I'm experiencing discomfort because it's like you know the little you the subtle clenches like your body's tightening you know the legs cross I'm a really big person on nonverbal cues I pay attention like that so I just feel like if it was the other way around I would have known that like something that I'm doing is not sitting okay with this customer and I had said like oh this is tight although I wasn't like listen I'm really in a lot of pain I still said oh this is tight and so if you're familiar with getting a full sewing or just a sewing in general for that matter you know that if someone braids your hair tightly that's not the only level of discomfort that you're going to feel because they actually have to sew the wefts of the fake hair onto the braids that they just braided on your actual scalp and the sewing does create tension because in that weaving form they're tightening because of course you want to make sure that like a weft or if you call it a track a track doesn't slip when your client leaves from their appointment or even a few days out a sewing is supposed to be secure no one's supposed to feel like they're about to have a faux pas like walking down to the calf imagine fried chicken wednesdays and a track slips out okay and my HBCU people know what I'm talking about with fried chicken Wednesdays. So she's going through the process of sewing the weft. And I also say again, like, ooh, that is really tight. And at this point, she like disregards the comment. We're having a conversation at this point. So I don't want to make it seem like we were just sitting there. We were silent. And my friend was also there as well. Like we were sitting there. We were silent. And I was just saying like, oh, I'm in pain or making, you know, subtle indications that I'm in pain. And she was just disregarding it. We were having a conversation and I was interjecting the cries for help into that as well. Again, not being super assertive. And so I leave the appointment and it's tight and I'm trying to rationalize it to myself and I'm just saying, you know, it's going to loosen overnight. Sometimes you just have to sleep on a hairstyle for a day or two and you'll be good to go. And let me tell you, that day or two was the worst day or two of forever. It honestly felt like a week. The day or two did not feel like a day or two. The second day is when I knew that something was really off because at this point my hair is hurting and it's itching as well and reminding you guys I have a full sewing in and so it's not as accessible as a traditional sewing with you even really trying to you know just get in there with your fingers and stuff like that you're a bit more careful because you have a closure piece on as well if you tear that closure the hairstyle is done that's just keeping it a stack the hairstyle's done so i was just very cautious so i'm doing the that so i think i paid between like maybe 
$65 and $100, but in my mind, I was dropping a bag. And mind you, I'm a college student at this point and I had to ask my parents for the money. So I was dropping a bag, okay? And the second day is when I knew that something was really off because at this point, my hair is hurting and it's itching as well and reminding you guys i have a full sewing in and so it's not as accessible as a traditional sewing with you even really trying to you know just get in there with your fingers and stuff like that you're a bit more careful because you have a closure piece on as well and if you tear that closure the hairstyle is done that's just keeping it a stack the hairstyle's done so i was just very cautious so i'm doing the but i realized that something's really wrong because i'm also feeling a burning sensation as well so i make the rational decision that i am actually going to cut a piece of the thread off of the web to really see was going on with my head because it doesn't feel right and at this point I've like managed to get my fingers under there and the consistency was like gooky like this is where it starts to get a bit disgusting because it literally felt like I had an open wound on my scalp that was like oozing a bit like it escalated that much so in cutting the piece of thread I lifted and bruh okay so this is what i'm going to try to get you guys to think about imagine i have a passion twist in right now imagine if i just decide oh let me lift this passion twist and i come under here and the hair is gone the hair is gone right here that is essentially what was there when i decided to lift up that piece of thread and i got that weft up the hair was gone right there and it honestly looked like um i had a ringworm that was kind of oozing i was just very upset like i spoke to my mom called my mom carrying on as usual and at this point although i was very much like oh no i don't want confrontation like that kind of thing i let the stylist know i text her and i didn't even text her like oh something's going on with my hair i am sending a picture with it i'm like listen my hair has come out um I don't know like what's going on but my hair came out this is what it's looking like like that kind of thing and she responded back she kind of took a while to respond back and I felt like she had saw the text message but she honestly didn't know how to respond and she was just kind of saying in my opinion she was extremely dismissive she's like oh I don't really know what's going on I've never had this happen before it was just like she immediately started to deflect she wasn't disrespecting me in any way but she was just saying like you know I've been doing hair for blah 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 and that kind of thing it was just taking all all accountability away from her and I felt like she was really neglecting the fact that essentially I came to you you're a licensed cosmetologist my hair is out you probably have to know I'm freaking out I also mentioned to you during the appointment that my birthday was coming up and when I tell you I don't know what's going on your first reaction is just essentially to start moving the blame away from you not even like oh are you okay can you come back let's see what's going on blah 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 so that was the first reaction and honestly it did not go well at all so then with that she finally said and, and this was like where the funny part comes in and like people really kill me like the, this was like where the funny part comes in and like people really kill me like the customer service skills I'll get into that in a second people really kill me but she was like um come back I'm going to see what I could do and I'd like to see it in person I'm not um she was like i'm not going to charge you i'm willing to look at it it was like it started giving me i'm doing you a favor so i'll fit you in this and that like it was just the customer service was just off and i understand we were all early 20s at this point i'm 25 right now so i don't know why i'm trying to make it seem like oh, it was way back in the g but we're all early 20s but i just feel like certain things come down to manners you don't even necessarily have to be in business for a prolonged time or have taken the most 
boutique networking and customer service workshops or anything there are just basic things in how you interact with people especially when it comes to like a crisis I consider that a crisis call me dramatic I don't care so anyway I went back to her dorm and it honestly was just the same thing I'm not gonna lie at this point I was irritated and very passive aggressive while I was in her dorm and I'm just kind of like this is my hair one of the first things that she tried to say like oh I don't know if you don't get sew-ins and I'm just trying to tell her like I've I've had sew-ins before mama like this this is where the jersey starts to come out I've had sew-ins before mama I had someone that used to do my hair all the time I wish I had a picture because now with that little trending it's the bang the bang song going around girl I used to have the caps and the sew-ins and one piece of my hair orange and the rest black and all of that like I've done sew-ins it's not that it's not that if we're gonna sit here and troubleshoot we can do that but that as far as like trying to put it on me oh I'm not sure if you had something in your hair I'm not sure if this and that and then she even started opening up about she called her mom she was freaking out because her mom was also a cosmetologist of many years as well and she was just like I call my mom freaking out saying I don't know what's going on and she was like my mom was saying you know dependent on the type of weave that someone gets it can have chemicals in it it was just like a whole bunch of stuff but again she was just placing the blame what she ended up having to do was essentially she went weft by weft and loosened everything I mean it honestly was almost like doing my hair all over again and she had to go through that process because although this side of my hair had months and so imagine like you growing your hair well and you like let me get a protective style it's gonna be cute for my birthday also I can give my hair a break and then like you lose your hair and it's like that's so disheartening so she went through that and honestly that that really was just like the horror story like she didn't provide any tips on like what I could do to grow the hair back I had to start like researching that on my own that's really when I started getting into like shea butter and more holistic things for the hair as well and it's just crazy because I went about on my birthday with this hairstyle and I got so many compliments on the hairstyle because trust me it was cute and in the back of my mind the entire time I'm just thinking only if you guys knew that I was giving unintentional baldiana on this side of my head and it honestly was just crazy it was just like a super crazy experience I just was not I mean I hope you guys have enjoyed this story like enjoy it for your pleasure at the sake of my sorrow to be honest what I will say to hair stylists because I definitely share my feelings on this channel about stylists in general but I say just normalize open conversations with your clients when someone says like something is tight or water is too hot you know don't be irritated or don't come off as unapproachable that someone doesn't feel comfortable to directly say that to you also if something tends to go wrong with someone's hair just like the top rule of customer service like the customer's always right i understand that it becomes a bit different if someone starts disrespecting you on a human to human level no one should accept disrespect but when you provide a service and someone has an adverse reaction you should be there as a support and to troubleshoot and really help in remediating that issue not trying to place blame on the person because honestly since before i came to you my hair was macking and now I left you and my hair is in shambles. So let's keep it a stack. Had you taken a different approach and you had sent me some tips and you had done check-ins and you were doing bi-weekly consultations with me, I honestly think that I still would have never went to you again. You never would have got my dollar again, but I just would have taken it as a different experience. Like it was a learning experience for everyone involved. For me, speak up more for you be more cautious of the tension that you're using on people's hair ask certain questions beforehand if you're going to try to blame it on was hair washed um have you had a sewing before these are all conversations um so yeah my gc crew that's it for my horror story i hope you guys enjoy my passion twists are still going strong i'm loving these these took me four hours to do and i hope you guys enjoy See you in the next one.